Jule, greetings from the heights of Himalayas in Ladakh. I'm Sonam Wangchuk and I'm starting my 14th day of climate fast along with some 250 people who have been sleeping here out in the open with me. Temperatures have been minus 12 degrees last night with clear skies and here this is the glass of water I had kept frozen solid and uh, this is my laptop all frosted up you can see and this is my sleeping bag with ice all over we are all here to remind the government of India to keep their promise to safeguard and protect this fragile land of the Himalayas and to restore democracy. When we say protect this fragile land and its culture and people, it's not just some demand. We are losing land left, right and center. If we go to Changtang, plains on the border of Tibet or China, you'll see how much land the nomadic tribes that are famous for producing pashmina fiber, the Changpas, are losing. On one side, they are losing their land to Indian corporates who are coming there to set up their plants, industries, maybe mining in future. Already with just a huge giga, 13 gigawatt solar plant, they are losing roughly 150,000 square kilometers of prime pasture land. So they have to now sell their goats and become jobless laborers in the cities. On the other hand, they are losing their pasture lands to China, which is encroaching from the north from the south, the corporates, from the north, the Chinese, who have captured huge chunks of Indian land in the last few years. According to BJP leader Subramanyam Swamiji, 4,056 square kilometers of land has been lost in just few years. So you can imagine the plight of these nomadic people. Well, you may or may not believe this data, but what we'll do is we'll actually do an on-ground check, a border march. On 27th March, a day after I end my fast, if I am in form, we'll travel to the border, showing you live footage, along with nomadic leaders leading us. Some 10,000 Ladakhi people will march to the borders and show you how much of their pasture land is taken by these corporates for solar plants. And close by to these solar plant sites are the Indo-Tibetan or Chinese borders where these nomadic leaders can lead us and show us how far they used to go grazing and now where they have to stop for us to get a real picture of the scene. Chances are that security forces will stop us tens of kilometers, if not 100 kilometers before. Well, this will be a proof in itself that there's a lot of things to be covered up. So we'll know if there's nothing to hide and no land has been taken, then they let us go up to where our nomads used to go in the past. If they have things to cover up, then they'll stop us 100 kilometers away, maybe from Leh itself. That will be a proof in itself. So I'm looking forward to either 27th March, if I am in form, if not, then 10 days later, 7th of April, Sunday, we'll do this 10,000 people's border march towards the borders of India and China. Stay tuned and have a good day. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.